Oh, my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's just me. It's Wednesday evening, Wednesday the 15th of June, 2022, and it's half past eight in the evening, 8.30 in the evening, and I thought I'll pop up and just say hi to everybody on the old TikTok. Fantastic stuff. A dinky do, I say to you. And welcome to the live. I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, hashtag Flutai. So do come and join us and give us your chat. There's Alan. Alan says, hi, Scotty. How are you getting on? I'm getting on. Great, Alan. How are you getting on? I hope you're okay. Very, very important, that. And dinky do to you, I say, from me, Scotty McClue. Wonderful stuff. Lots of you joining us. That's what we like to see. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is indeed live just for you saying dinky do. Evening, Captain. Greetings from 18th century Norwich. Dinky do, Scotty Neil. How lovely to have you with us from Norwich with your beautiful cathedral there. How tremendous is that? And a big dinky do to you. Evening, hashtag float eye. I hope you're well, big man. Your rouser. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, a very, very warm welcome to you. Get following, guys, as soon as you come on, of course. Very, very important. So there we are, and a big dinky do to everybody who's just joining us. This is tremendous. Just a quick pop-up. I didn't check if there was any football on or anything like that, because we don't want to steal the audience, but if they lose a few thousand to Scotty McClure, so what? I say to you, 18 degrees, says Neil. Wow, Neil. You know, I mean, it's getting warm, isn't it? Can you say hello to Corey and Deegan? Of course I can. Corey and Deegan, dinky do from a Scotty McClure. Hi, man. Hi, flashback, dinky do. Uh, King's comment says hello. Hello, King's comment. How lovely that you could come and join us and tell 10 to tell 10. Now, guys, there's lots and lots of new TikTok videos for you. But can you follow me right now? Let's have a follow fest. Everybody that's watching right now, make sure you've followed Scotty McClue. There we are. I think, uh, do you like Batman? I am the Joker. You haven't heard the last of me, Batman. Oh, I think we have Joker. Yes, absolutely. There's Brian Dinky Doo. Thanks for following Brian. Very much appreciated. The lovely Maria Knight has just joined us. So lovely to hear from Maria. Um, Long-term viewer, and I am a big-time fan and very, very generous to Scotty McClue over the years. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo. Hello, Sue. And lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, Alex. Thank you for following a thoroughly decent human thing to do. How lovely is that? Get following Scotty McClue and uh, everybody with an internet connection should be following Scotty McClue. Set your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live on TikTok. This is TikTok's top talk show. The big one I say to you, thank you, Head Wired. Do you like Star Wars? I love Star Wars. There we are, especially if I'm the star. There we are. Just became a top viewer. Thank you, Maria. Fantastic. Maria's just sent me 10 beautiful red roses. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? Thank you, Maria. Very, very much appreciated. What do you think of the start of the talks about NDRF2? Well, Alan Mack, I've done a video live on TikTok for you to go and see. And the last time I looked, I think almost 3,000 people had watched it. And we only did it yesterday morning. So do have a look. Do you want to leave the UK? No, I would like Scotland economically to be in charge of its own money and its own governance. Because the problem Scotland's got with Westminster, they're not singing from the same hymn sheet at all. But I have absolutely tipped the wink to the independence parties and said, make it 100% clear without any dubiety that you back the monarchy 100%, because the monarchy is essentially a Scottish institution, and without the monarchy, independence is toast. I'll have a look. Have a look, Alan. Guys, can you all see my TikTok videos from where you're sitting? Uh, thank you very much indeed, and thank you again, Maria, for your kindness. Scotty, I'm an Edinburgh on holiday cop man. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome, welcome to God's country. So lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. How amazing is that? Wonderful stuff. Tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody watching right now share 
this video? Can we have some tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on the screen just to give us a few likes as well? That would be great. Thank you, Loon, for sending the likes. Luna, Luna, what a lovely name, Luna. There we are. Good evening, Scotty. I love Edinburgh. Ah, Chris Fimister. Chris Fimister, how lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you, I say. That's what it's all about. Thank you very much. Everyone is great. Copman, everybody is absolutely amazing. We won't be up for terribly long, but I thought we'll pop up and just see what's happening. If you can share, like, follow, check out the videos. And can you give me an opinion on what you think of the very early Scottish photographs I've been posting? There we are. Fantastic. Can I get an oh yeah? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, hello, my friend Dinky Doo Haldi. How lovely to hear from you. We haven't heard from you. We need to have more videos from you, Haldi. Now, come on, get on with it. I think the Alba Party is a Republican Party, despite Simon proclaiming himself America's before. Well, no, there should be no Republican parties. They will just die. You know, I mean, people don't want it. They want the monarchy. Are you still on YouTube? I'm not on YouTube right now, Chris, but I'd like everybody watching to go and subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. It's just very simply called Scotty McClue. So there you are, Voice of the World Radio Talk Show. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite Batman? Oh, I like them all, I think. Uh, they're just tremendous. I've always loved Batman. It's fast moving. And a lot of it was filmed in Glasgow in Scotland, wasn't it? I believe. Exciting news today about Indy Ref. I enjoyed your video on it. Haldi, I thank you. And you're very welcome to duet, to uh, to send it round, to stitch in. I noticed somebody stitched in. But they're funny. They stitch in. They go, oh, what oh, oh, rubbish. They don't actually make a case for the union because there's no case for the union to make. Very, very interesting. There we are. Thank you for my beautiful donuts. Thank you, Phil. Hello there, Scotty. Hello, Philip. Welcome, welcome. So nice to have you with us and a big dinky do. Guys, can you get following, please? We need followers. The West End of Glasgow says Cash Together. Yes, is that where they filmed it? How amazing is that? Scotty, can I get a dinky do? Every day can always get a dinky do. We are not short of dinky do's on here. Agreed, there's no argument for the union. Well, there isn't. God save the union. No. God save the Queen and God save Scotland. The Union is, has had it. The Union is toast because of Brexit. Brexit finished the Union. It was the final nail in the coffin. But the Union has never been good for Scotland. Uh, thoughts on England, uh, Hungary last night? Well, I don't really say much about football on here. You know, you get it all from the commentators. Last time, uh, Dinky Do, no, we don't do that. Don't read my name out. Uh, we don't do that sort of stuff on here, as you know. There's Kian saying, hello, Scotty. How are you? We're Dinky Do, Kian. So glad you could join us. Am I not looking well? <laughs> A little bit of orange juice tonight. Oh, that is so lush. They filmed the latest Batman film in my city and one of the scenes only five minutes from my house. Wow. So your house could be in Gotham City, is that right? Gotham City. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Talital. Very, very good of you. Very much appreciated. Guys, get following Scotty McClue. It's a thoroughly decent thing to do. And every TikToker should be doing it. Uh, so there we have it. Dinky do. Now, uh, Maria's joined us again. Love the show, Scotty. Keep up the history lessons. Well, I'll do my best, Meep Briggs. You know, I think it's important, Meep Briggs. Labour should just bite the bullet and back independence. Most of us want it, but they can't show support. Do you know, it's incredible. You and I must be septic, Alan, because I was thinking exactly the same thing tonight. I thought, you know, if Labour want to just come straight out the political wilderness, they should become a party for independence. You know, they've always kind of shadowed the SNP anyway. We used to say in the days when people knew what it meant, you couldn't get a fag paper between them. 
Uh, the English, the Scottish, the Irish and the Welsh always stand together as one. They do suck menace, but uh, Westminster's not standing together with Scotland as one. That's always a problem. They filmed the final scene in Anfield Cemetery at George's Hall, and the Liver building were all used. Oh, wow, Phil. How beautiful is Liverpool? I love it. I love the bones of Liverpool. There we are. Do you know how to hypnotize? Hey, whoa, whoa, I just came out of that in time there. Uh, what are your thoughts on Freemasonry? Well, there's no such thing as Freemasonry. I had a friend had a big country house, and he just wanted a few polished ashlers repointed. Pointing came to £50,000. I think Masons are so skilled in their task, especially when it comes to repointing ashlar that I don't think, you know, you'd get them for nothing. You're always going to have to pay. So there we are. Hello from Chile. We love it. What did you do with your eyes? I hypnotized them. There we are. Oh, do you mean what's happened to this one? A little blood vessel burst the other day, and it was quite bloodshot. You'll see it on one of the videos, because I popped up and did a little video for you. And look out for one from the squirrel tonight. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight, Kirsten? How lovely to have you with us. We are Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue. Guys, thank you for tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, tap, sending me likes. Can you all start sharing and following? So there we are. I need about another couple of dozens of you. There we are. Now, what's your zodiac? Ah, Mavro, you've got to tell me. Uh, so there we are. Try to hypnotize me again. Listen to my voice. Look into my eyes. Listen to my voice. Look into my eyes. You're beginning to feel very, very sleepy. And your head is falling forward onto your chest. Any good? <laughs> Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thank you. All hail, Scotty. Your eyes are, yes, absolutely. Hail, hail, Scotty McClure. There we are. Now, who else do we have here? So lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do to every one of you. Philip Johnson has sent me a donut. Guys, you are so generous, you TikTokers. Thank you for sending me all these lovely, lovely things. We're just up for a few more minutes. I feel sleepy. Mavro, so do I. I don't know which one of us would drop off first. I was hypnotized. You are a Virgo. A Vavre, Mavre, no, but nice thing. Put it this way, Bufti coming up soon. Uh, hello, Scotty. Gobbles boy here. Gobbles boy. We absolutely love to hear from you and a big dinky do from Scotty McClue. Uh, guys, lots and lots of videos. Get following, get sharing, get liking, get watching. Very, very important. Hello from Balerno. I love Balerno. Used to see the buses in Edinburgh and had Balerno on it, you know, and I thought, I think I'll get that bus out to Balerno. Hello from Port Glasgow. John Boy. We love Port Glasgow. Did you get my little video on the port about the comet? There we are. I am sunburnt. Ah, I am Scotty McClue. Pleased to meet you. Oh, no, I see what you mean. You've burned yourself. You need to be very, very careful. You are a Leo. No, Mavro. Birthday coming up very soon. There you have it. Dinky do. So see if you can work that one out. Leo the Lion, fantastic. Kenny's just joined us. So lovely to have you all with us. And welcome, 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 I say, guys. Lots to talk about. Now, what are you thinking about Scotland becoming independent? There we are. The First Minister of Scotland has just launched a new bid for independence. Cancer, no, coming up sooner than that. You are the hypnotist. I am the hypnotist. Woo -woo. I am the Eggman. Hello from East Kilbride. We love East Kilbride. We also love West Kilbride. So there we are. Dinky do, Scotty. How's your night going? Fantastic. Scotland is a dump, says Cork Guy. Cork Guy, I take it you've never been. So there we are. A Gemini. Oh, yes, Mavro. Back to London Friday. Big parade on Saturday. What's the parade about, Noodle? Tell us a bit more. Hypnotize with your finger. Oh, no. The whole nation 
Not just one nation, every nation would be asleep in seconds. I know you can do it. Oh, of course I can do it. Scotland's the best place in the world, says Ken's. Ken's, that's much nearer the mark. It's so beautiful. Uh, went, Oban was lovely. Oban is gorgeous. Who have we got here? <coughs> Good evening from Bomor in Isla. How are you doing today? Ali McNeil, Kamraha Umaha Hachama, Falchi Falchi, Kidami Lefalchi. And uh, we say to Agus, say, uh, TikTok, Agus, Scotchach McClure, McClure, the Botach. That's what it's about. Should Scotland rejoin the EU after independence? Sparicles, that's one for discussion. That's a conversation with ourselves. And with the EU, of course. But what I would say is to the half-wits that go, huh, but silly leaving one union and joining another, they don't understand that Westminster takes from Scotland all of its pocket money, everything it does, takes it, and, you know, credits itself with it. And the EU, Brussels, gives to Scotland. We've got beautiful new roads that Europe sent the money for. Do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of that. Uh, oh, wait, you had a radio spot back in the 90s. Just a small Sir Albion. Yes, it did, back in the 90s. Uh, 30 years, 1992, and we've been doing it 30 years in about um, two weeks' time. Isn't that gorgeous? Hi from Adrossin. Uh, uh, Adrossin, a big hug to you. Now, Listen, Thelma, have you looked at my picture of a Drossin on the TikTok videos? I'd like to know more about your opinion if you think it's good. What's the name of the Labrador in the picture behind you, Scotty? That one, that's Lord Reith. Lord Reith never, ever missed a radio show. And he was the most gorgeous big guy. He wasn't fat. He was just very, very big, huge big Labrador. And he could put his paws up on your shoulders. And he never, ever missed a radio show. He used to sleep under the radio desk. And a gentleman phoned me one night and he said, Scotty, do you have a dog in the studio with you? And the way he asked, you know, you thought, he knows. I said, why do you ask? He said, I'm blind. I hear his collar medal every night because as soon as the news jingle fired, we used to say, that's it, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, good night, God bless, dinky do and taralas. And then we'd play the theme tune, da 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 and all the rest of it. And then a wreath would get up and shake his collar because he knew it was time to go for a walk. You see? So there we are. So that was him. Uh, I really can't be bothered, Apollo. We'll not use that word. We'll say bothered. I really can't be bothered with politics. Now, I know you can't be bothered, but it's quite good to improve people's lives. It's not just all about you, you see, Apollo. There we are. Whiskey or Buckfast. Dan, don't assume everybody has your lifestyle. I don't drink alcohol. Uh, silence in the house. Silence in the house, please. Can we have silence? Who is talking? Oh, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized. Uh, should Scotland adopt the euro or use its own currency? Well, you see, if you go to Ireland about 25 years ago, they still had the punt, the Irish punt. And very clever Irish businesses did very well when you said, excuse me, could I change some uh, UK money here? Uh, uh, for punts, and they say, yes, yes, eh, I'll just eh, I'll have to give you one for one. That sort of idea. Or could I change my punts uh, into into UK money? Yes, I'll, I'll give you one for one if that's... Oh, that's fine. And there was a nice wee rake-off going on there, you see. Uh, the Irish people are very, very smart, very clever. There we are. And that was right in the eye of the Celtic tiger. Quite amazing, guys. Tremendous stuff. Now, I want to know your opinions on the Scotty McClue videos. I've uploaded one yesterday morning about Scottish independence. So I want every single one of you on TikTok to see that. And get following. Who has not followed me? Who's watching right now who hasn't followed? Tot, 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 tot. 
Uh, Thailand's the best place in the world. I would believe it all. I'll have to put on a tie and go and see it. There we are. Uh, the big eight zero, you rouser. You're not the big eight zero. Come off it. Dinky do from Sarabia. If anyone drives through Glencoe, they'll remember it the rest of their lives. Well, you do. You absolutely do. Are you pro-Irish reunification? Well, Dara, I'm not sure. Did you hear the politician calling the Taoiseach the tea sock? <laughs> the tea sock. And somebody had put up on uh, on TikTok a cup of tea and a sock. The tea sock. The tea shuck. Um, I'm wondering, does Dublin want to pick up the tab for the North? All that's got to be discussed. You know, although I have to say Brexit has made it very likely. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Sir Albion. How can we agree so much on independence but disagree so much on the monarchy, Scotty? Because you haven't quite got it, what the monarchy is about. People personalise the monarchy. They go, ah, what about, ah, what about so-and-so? Huh, what about so-and-so? It's nothing, nothing whatsoever to do with the people. We're very, very lucky that Our Majesty the Queen has been such an outstanding head of state and a wonderful, a wonderful public servant and ambassador for the UK. But the Crown is effectively a Scottish institution. We took over the English crown, Scotland, took over the English crown in uh, 1603, the Union of the Crowns, right? So Her Majesty is head of state and she's been elected in perpetuity by the uh, declaration of her growth on the 6th of April 20. So all that, so all the rubbish you hear and their self-financing, so they don't cost us a penny, they bring in fortunes, huge asset to Scotland. So you don't want Scotland to become independent and then immediately be a third world country. So let's be keeping the monarchy 100%. Remember, uh, the monarchy is apolitical, nothing to do with independence. And um, what you're doing with independence is splitting the parliaments to the way they were pre-1707. You're not splitting the crown. Capiche? Now, once you start to get this, the real function of the monarchy is as curator and custodian of the crown. And that's our symbol of authority in the way the stars and stripes is the symbol of authority for America. All right. So from that point of view, that's how it all works. Now, once you start to get that, you'll see that independence under the crown is way to go. If you have the half-wits, think you really want a Republican, your, your independence movement will just die. It'll just become toast. You need to study the history of the independence movement. And there was a while in the 1930s, it was perceived as being Republican and being too pro-Catholic. Yes, and that wasn't going well. So you see, if you block out the crown, you'll lose 50% of the vote. Hello? 50%. Hello? Capiche? 50%. Half. All right? So there we go. So that's what you need to do, play for questions. Get your head round that, and then away you go. Not a problem at all. Uh, there's a lot of roads in the West Highlands funded by the EU, absolutely sparkles. And what we need to get back to for the West Highlands is an integrated transport policy like we had under David McBrain, brackets 1928, close brackets limited. The Royal Mail steamers, the Royal Mail service, you know, that's it. That's mad. Yeah, some good ears, yes. Great story, very wholesome, and a breath of fresh air. You must have loved Reith. Oh, you rouser. I adored him. And I can remember a girlfriend staying at the house, and she was looking after Reith. I'd gone out to do a show and hadn't taken him. I know I said he never missed one, but I'd just moved house. And I thought, I don't want to disorientate him in the house and in the radio station. So there we are. So I stand corrected. So anyway... I hadn't taken him this night, and she said to me, 
that he was up and about a good five minutes before I arrived back. So he must have heard the engine, the big diesel. There we are. Just saw the dog in the background. Yes, that's him. That's Lord Reith. And I actually had the privilege of meeting the real Lord Reith that started the BBC, his daughter. And I explained to her that the name Reith was shouted in our house every day, but I'm not sure how amused she was by that. <laughs> uh, but it is a credit to her father that we'd called the dog after him, you see. If political parties' youths get into politics, why not represent and support the youth? Well, we always support the youth, Apollo. Uh, and look what happened to the Celtic Tiger. Well, yes, but that's because they'd gone a bit mad with it. When I arrived, I arrived in Cork. And the hotelier, I was having a wee drink at the bar. I, I liked a wee refreshment those days. And I was having a wee drink at the bar. And Maria Knight had sent me a, a cactus. Whew! So I was having a wee drink at the bar. And uh, he said, how did you come? And I said, well, I came through the tunnel. And he stopped. He said, there's no tunnel in Cork. And uh, there's another chap at the bar. And I said, well, I've just come through one. And uh, he said to the chap at the bar, he said, come, gentleman's saying he came through a tunnel. Where's the tunnel? He said, oh, they just opened it yesterday. I don't know what to do with the money next. <laughs> Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Do you think there will be a united Ireland? Um, I think there, that's a conversation. Let's be honest about it. Let's not get people's hopes up or dash people's hopes down. Yes, because there's two sides to all of this, of course, because of a hundred years of annexation of the six counties. Uh, I wasn't into politics until the first Indy ref. Now I'm politics mad. Alan Mack, I understand. I'm apolitical. I'm not really a party political man. And this absolutely infuriates the parties because I get invited to become, uh, you know, a member of parliament. Uh, you know, and um, I haven't taken that up so far. I tend to distance myself from the party side of things, and I am apolitical, but I'm economic, and uh, I'm big on economics, and I know Scotland could be doing a lot better and could rebuild its economy. So there you have it. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Daza Brown. There we are. Follow the host. And uh, you see, what's happened is Brexit, and I predicted this six years ago. I said, if we have Brexit, it will mean economic annihilation and political fragmentation. And this has come to pass. So your UK coming out of Europe will have destroyed the UK per se. There we are. That's it. Sinn Féin hold a majority across Ireland, so it's likely enough. Yes, indeed, it's very delicate, the old situation in the north at the moment. Come on, Scotty, hypnotise. You don't want to hypnotise. Your audience will be asleep, for goodness sake. Maria Knight has sent me a red telephone box. And Maria, I love red telephone boxes. You'll get it because it's communication. We love it. For, which was the, was it Hull? They used to have white telephone boxes. They were designed by the same guy that designed Liverpool Cathedral, Battersea Power Station, yes, and his, was it his grandfather did St Pancras Station. There we are, Giles Gilbert Scott, Sir Giles Gilbert Scott, and I think, if I'm right, the Anglican Cathedral in Liverpool was only actually finally completely completed in the 1970s. It was started in 1908. What about that? You are the best at it. I know, Mavra. Uh, there we are. They'd only hold a majority in Northern Ireland. Uh, there we are. Oh, it's Scotty McClue. It is. It's Scotty McClue. Uh, well spotted. Nothing gets past you, does it? They'll be in government in Republic next election. Who will upright? Tell me more. Do you think the House of Stuart should be re-established? Well, I don't think there are any Stuarts living. Prince Charles has got a big Stuart bloodline. 
So there we are. So he's probably the nearest thing to a Stuart. And his titles are also um, Prince of Wales, His Royal Highness the Prince Charles, Prince of Wales, the Prince of Wales, uh, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, the Duke of Rothsey, Baron Renfrew, the Earl of Chester, and the Lord of the Isles. What about that? There you have it. If the House of Stuart were ever re-established, then uh, I think you'd find that um, the bear gates at Trakir House would have to open up again. They've been closed since 1745. Sparacles, oh, Jakey's talking to Sparacles. They bring England money. They don't give us anything. Who brings England money? Faroe Islands are in the house. The Faroes, we love having you from the Faroe Islands. How lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. What about the single boss and the taxi drivers? Oh, yeah, Mr. Bashair. They will get rid of the royal family. Now, Gavin. Why on earth would you get rid of your most important asset? Are you half crazed? Have you been out in the noonday sun in India with the mad dogs and Englishmen? Get rid of the monarchy. Why would you get rid of the monarchy? Our greatest asset brings us in fortunes. Have a bit more respect. Stop talking nonsense. So there we go. Yeah, the fair Isles. When we leave the UK, shall be absolutely zero benefit to us. What are you talking about, Ryan? There we are. Fantastic. Do you think Charles and the other future monarchs should rule as the House of Stuart? Um, I don't think they can because the last Stuart monarch who was responsible for the union through skullduggery and jiggery pokery. The union is built on sand, guys. It's very, very poor. A very poor piece of legislation. Should never have been passed, but she bribed, she bribed the the uh, the nobles with silver. Silver, uh, so there you are. So no, I think the House of Stuart has had its day because Scotty McClure had royal connections. You see, going right back to Robert the Bruce. Uh, there we are, uh, Jackie Ryan. Have you not just heard what he said? Good, Jackie, you tell her. The Queen's based in England. The only reason they bring money in is through tourism. No, 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 Ryan. No, no, you don't understand. Tourism brings in 10% of GDP, £210 billion pounds in tourism. Now, that's not all the royal family, I will admit. Uh, the royal family themselves, the last count they'd brought in, I think, £2.5 billion pounds direct to self-financing. And the heir to the throne, uh, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, is self-financing from the Duchies, the Queen, the Duchy of Lancaster, and uh, Prince Charles, of course, from the Duchy of Cornwall. Hence, he is the Duke of Cornwall. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, now, are you English? Uh, I'm not actually English, Oli. Uh, so there you go, although I do speak English. Uh, you know, having said that, I'm a Scotsman. Reunification could happen, not in our lifetime. Well, why do you say that? I've heard it doesn't prove anything. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, of course it proves something. You've just been told the facts. People go, where's your source? I say, I, I am the source. Capish? There we are. Now, who have we got? Love the Islands, uh, about to start. Ah, well, Love Island is about to start. I thought you said Love the Islands. I'm not in Love Island, so I don't watch it. But I nearly got into Big Brother. Mm. Ah, so lush, just so lush. Well, to start with independence isn't happening under the SNP as their clueless. Now, Jackie. How can they possibly be clueless? They've been in government for 12 years and some lovely things have happened. Love your voice, says Shelley. Shelley, you're very, very kind. I thank you for that. I like leprechauns and genesis. Well, Slowpokey, they speak very, very highly of you. I know that. 
But there we are. Now to start, what have we got here? Can't wait to leave. There we go, the union. And um, it doesn't. She hasn't proven anything except that they can have one. What are you talking about, Jackie? Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, Brandon. How lovely to have you with us and a massive dinky do. Guys, have you all followed me? I need about a couple of dozen of you to follow me right now. Now, I'll have another sip of orange juice. You do a follow fest. Come on, I'm watching. Get following. Uh, Scotty, what do you think about conspiracy theorists? You're a good man. Uh, Euros are, uh, I'll tell you what I think. I think that actually nowadays we used to poo-poo every conspiracy theorist. But I think nowadays some of them are actually stumbling on fact. You know, whether they were meant to or not. Now, can you say hi to Dom, please? He's your biggest fan. I can. Uh, exactly. Nothing's been proven yet. You're very confident uh, that it won't happen. Exactly. Maria sent me a dancing cactus. Bless you, Maria. Good evening from Birmingham. Dinky do. Good evening, Birmingham. Evening, Scotty. There's Drewski in North America. A very, very warm welcome. Guys, we had an international call on the internet phone in on Saturday night. I've uh, put it up as a TikTok video. So can you all watch, every single one of you, watch the TikTok videos? Get yourselves sorted out. They're very, very important. Scotty for PM. So there we have it. Now then, good evening, Scotty from Birmingham. Mr. McClure, how are you? Maria's red telephone box. The United Kingdom's not a country, it's a territory. No, the United Kingdom is an amalgam of four countries. There's no such country as Britain. That's a landmass. So when you hear somebody say they love this country, what country do they mean? Because we don't have one country, we have a United Kingdom. Uh, Britain is a landmass, the big bit, Great Britain. Yes, and then there's Northern Ireland. When we get independence, the SNP are finished. They've done what they've been voted in for. Not necessarily, Alan Mac. Why would they be finished? They're very popular. Uh, any reason you speak so eloquently, or is it just natural? Dara, you're very, very kind. I think it's just natural. It's something I started um, last week. <laughs> we need to get rid of the Raws and all that lot. Now, Cameron, there's a very, 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 very silly thing to say. Why on earth would you say something like that? That's almost 100% ignorance that has prompted that phrase, we need to get rid of the Royals and all that lot. What kind of rubbish is that? Why on earth would any sane person say that? The royals bring us a fortune. They're also wonderful, wonderful, you know, as a family. Incredible people. I mean, you know, the queen, just beyond reproach. There we go. Now then, is the United Kingdom a country? So we've done all that, haven't we? Hello, Sarah, how are you? Do you miss the phone box, Scotty Sue? I do. I loved the phone box. It was fantastic. Do you think the SNP's MPs would keep their seats of Westminster uh, if we got independence? No, well, why would they? Because you would have an ambassador to the Foreign Office. You see, you've got to think of all that stuff. You wouldn't have any Scottish uh, MPs in Westminster. SNP out. Scotland will be ruined if it became independent. Now, Karen... There's a very, 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 very silly thing to say. Why would Scotland be ruined? Scotland subsidises the UK to the tune of about £75 billion pounds a year. And Westminster give us back £28 billion as pocket money. It's like giving your mother all your wages, and then she gives you back your beer money. Right, so we send everything we earn and make to Westminster, and they squander it on things like Brexit at two hundred and fifty billion pounds a throw to date. So, so what I'm thinking here, if we hung on to the seventy-five billion, 
we're suddenly £75 billion better off. So why would Scotland be ruined if it became independent? Tell me, tell me, Karen, what goes on in that little mind of yours and your wee fertile imagination. I think Scotty should rate Love Island. It would be watchable. Spiracles, you're very kind. You're watching Love Island tonight? Uh, Ethan, no, I don't watch stuff I'm not in. So there we have it. So I don't see very much these days. <laughs> Mate, you're an absolute rooster. Equa scutum. There we are. You've learned so much tonight. All you need to say is thank you. Speak German, says Matchett. Nein, ich Deutsch sprechen nicht. Bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. Hello, sir. How are you? My first time here, Mary. A very, 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 very warm welcome to you. So lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say to you. There we are. Now, uh, looks refreshing. Very nice. Started last week. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Tom. Wow. Was Mr. Tom not just the most beautiful drama? Hmm. Now, what bit did you enjoy most? I liked when Mr. Tom taught him to ride a bike. I love orange juice, Spanish orange juice at its best, Seville orange juice. It's yourself, it's myself. And dinky do, guys, have you all followed me? There we are. Hello, Dinky Doo to you. Hello, CR, 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 CR. Uh, top of the evening to Scotty Dinky Doo. Chris, right out. How lovely to have you with us and a big Dinky Doo to you, I see. Lol, that sounded Scouse, not Brummy. No, Phil, that's Brummy. There we are. Scouse is a bit more like that. Uh, so I'll buck a brath, Scotty. Yes, indeed, Willy Wonka. I wonder if the SNPs, MPs, oh, yes, we do that. We've done that one. Uh, our economy is ruined the now. Can't imagine the state of our country that's independent. Well, Karen, who ruined the economy? We've had 60 years, 70 years of Tory government after Tory government after Tory. Even new Labour, you know, we're com continuing Thatcherism effectively. Let's have it straight. So what's ruined the economy? Could it be the $250 billion that was shelled out for Brexit? Could it be that? So if we got clear of all that, you see what I mean? So what you're doing, you're going off your imagination. I'm going off economic fact. Have a read of the wonderful Macron report, the wonderful Gavin Macron's Macron report from 1975 that the government hushed up because they were stealing all the oil and gas money from Scotland. Oh. Well, they weren't stealing it, they were taking it. Hello, self-determination for Scotland and Wales. Kim Runman, I think you're right. So there you are. So Karen, you need to start watching McClue. You need to start listening to McClue. You need to start listening to the sensible people that come on McClue, and there are a lot of them on TikTok and YouTube. There we go. And get to the YouTube channel, get to the TikTok videos, get watching, watching, listening. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. And your life will change dramatically for the better. Because you'll get all the facts. Because I'm apolitical. I have no axe to grind. I have no chips on my shoulder. I want what's best for you and what's best for the people of Scotland. And if I thought staying in the Union was better for the people of Scotland, I would tell you that. I would research that, and I would tell you that. Have you noticed that no politician has made a case for the union? Have you noticed that? There's no case for the union. Does that not tell you something? But there is a case for independence. I made one yesterday morning. There we are. Now, what have we got here? Follow us as soon as you can, guys. The wonderful Maria Knight is with us. There we go. Um, there's no need for them to be in Westminster, so they are. They hate anything to do with England. Well, Stephen Jap, the first thing to do is get rid of hate. And you should never, ever, 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 ever hate anything to do with England. Right? You can dislike the way Westminster have treated Scotland. You can dislike that, but there's no need for hate. We don't do hate on here. I don't understand why you think the monarch is the key of Britain. Joanne, 
you don't understand, you've said it yourself, and that's very honest, and I respect that. You don't understand. Have a look at the Scotty McLeod TikTok videos. They will tell you. But really what's behind the monarchy is the crown. And the monarch, in this case, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, she is the curator and custodian of the crown. We in the United Kingdom at the moment have the crown as our symbol of authority. The crown is effectively a Scottish institution. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. All right? So you're talking big stuff here. So it's the crown. In America, it's the stars and stripes. America wanted a monarchy. They're desperate for a monarchy. They wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie after the 45 rising. Uh, you know, because this would be, when was American independence? 1775. But he felt he was too old. And if he passed on, they might go back to the uh, Hanoverian succession. So that wasn't popular at the time. So you say, I don't understand why you think the monarch is the key of Britain. Let me explain to you. She's the curator and custodian of the crown. The crown is the key of Britain, all right? And the monarch is the monarch of Britain. So there you are, definitely, and definitely the head of state for Scotland. Uh, she could rule as a Sax coburg gotha No, she couldn't, you see, because she's not a Sax coburg gotha Albert, Queen Victoria's husband, was a Sax coburg gotha and then they obviously changed that in the First World War because we were at war with Germany, and Albert, the saxe coburg Gothas, were German. And uh, so they changed that to Windsor. But it didn't quite work out, but Lord Mountbatten had pushed for it for Prince Philip to give his name. So the family would now be the Mountbatten Windsors. But I don't think that actually stood the test of time. I think they're known as the Windsors uh, at the moment. So she wouldn't rule as a sax coburg gotha uh, She also is 50% Scots. Her late father, King George VI, lovely man, was um, a descendant of Malcolm II. And I think the Queen is a descendant of Bruce so there are, there's all sorts of wonderful connections. Uh, where's the squeeze boxes, Angela? The squeeze box is beside me, Angela. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box? These unionists are a bit doolally, says Alan. Well, of course they are, because they don't understand. You know, I mean, I, I used to be a huge unionist when I felt the union was bringing something to Scotland. I don't feel it is now. And you have to be able to change. You have to be able to turn on a sixpence. I mean, look at the present government. Voltefasse. There we are. A dinky do, I say to you. Do you support a Scottish team? I support all the Scottish teams. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Uh, God bless the Queen. CR, CR, CR. Absolutely. What about the state of Govan Hill? The FM's very own constitution. Well, people talk about that. But I could tell you about the state of Govan Hill 50 years ago. You see, long before there was any FM, long before it was that constituency. Uh, should Scotland become a republic, do you think? Never, ever, 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 ever in a million years should Scotland even look at becoming a republic. Or it's toast, it's dead in the water. There we are. Now, who else have we got here? Who do you support football-wise? Oh, lots of them. I love Arsenal. I love Man United. When I worked in Manchester, they were just at the back of me, almost where the pictures are there. Uh, they, are you running for Prime Minister? So there we are. No, no, no. I'm not really political, to be quite honest with you. Uh, now, Scotty, YouTube, are, uh, they got international waters. England got YouTube. Oh, Stealing Our Seas, yes, on YouTube. Yes, I'll have a look at that. There we are, and we'll see what is what. Now, here we have uh, 
Luxor, you're you're um, spamming us. We'll have to uh, put you in timeout. We'll have to mute you. There we go. Fantastic. Right, that's the stuff. Um, I agree with you. Change my vote after they broke the vow. Now Bojo has a hundred percent changed it. Well, you see, I watched Bojo yesterday, and he's going. Well, yes, I mean, I, I think the Scottish people voted on this some time ago. And uh, and you think, no, 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 hold it right there. Some time ago, we didn't have Brexit. We were part of the EU. We were told if we voted um, to remain in the UK, we would remain in the EU. You see? So things have changed, Mr. Bojo. Hello from Sunny Lark Hall. The sun's always shining. The people once wanted into Govan Hill, now they want out. I should know I once stayed there. Absolutely, yes, to get a house, a house in Govan Hill. Very nice. Moss Park. That's where you want to say. Top of the day to you, Dinky Doo. Kareem, thank you for sending all these beautiful, beautiful gifts. So very, very kind of you. Where did our three hundred and fifty million pounds a week go? We were promised for Brexit. Well, Willy Wonka, you didn't fall for that. Do you know if you strip out the people who believed in the red bus, like me, uh, if you strip them out, the majority goes down to 644,000. Now, 644,000, this was the majority for Brexit, dictating to almost 70 million people that they're going to lose their EU citizenship, that it's going to cost them 250 billion quid. Come on. Ta, 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 ta. Never been as bad as it is now. Well, I'm sure it'll go down and come up again, like all areas of Glasgow. I remember the West End having a period in a trough. And you could buy property in the West End very reasonable. You try that now. There he is, though. Good evening, Scotty McClure. Uh, is the Edinburgh Tattoo going ahead this year? I hope so, Angela. I've had many happy times at the Edinburgh to do. I don't think we need a referendum, Scotty. Certainly not the way the union was formed. Well, you see, I think you could, a good lawyer might be able to take the union apart because Queen Anne was at the jiggery-pokery and the skull-duggery and she bribed the nobles. Scotland was sold for, I think, between 1500 and two grand. although I think there was 18 grand went missing. Tot, tot, totity, tot. We might buy it back. I might buy it back uh, for at par. Say, look, if we gave you two grand, would you sell us Scotland back? Uh, I'm a railway worker due to go on strike next week, Scotty. Between both governments, they're killing us. I accept that, Gav, and strength to you, I say. Uh, the point being, we know that, Coiny. You know, that's not the point. Doesn't matter whose constituency it is. It's a tough gig. Uh, there we are. Hey, Scotty, long time no here. Are you a royalist? Do we need the royal family? Um, we, of course we need the royal family. No, I'm a common sensist. So there we are. Of course we need the royal family. So there we are. Dinky do. Uh, Truth Freedom has just joined us. Lovely to have you with us in a big dinky do. I say, guys, I'm going to have to go in about five minutes' time. Uh, in fact, I'm going to have to go in two minutes' time. I've just seen the time. This has been an absolute privilege. If you guys have enjoyed this TikTok live as much as I've enjoyed being with you, then that's some serious, serious enjoyment. There we are. And please follow me, of course. Watch every single video. Very, very important. Great show. Thank you, your eyes. And hello, Scotty McClure. See, Trippy. Oh, comedian. Lovely to have you with us. Have you ever been to Cardiff in Wales? No, I haven't been to Cardiff. And I say that's a luxury I've denied myself. But I love the concept of Wales. And I was once offered the phone-in on the radio in Cardiff. But my dear mother had just passed away and I had to attend to her affairs, so I couldn't take up the appointment. But I would love to have come down and been your late night radio across Cardiff. Do you remember it? It was called Real Radio. There we are, Real Radio. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Dodsey from the Isle of Man has just joined us. Dodsey, so lovely to have you with us. We've only got one minute because I have to dash. But so lovely to be with you. Neil has joined us. And guys, thank you for the likes. I've got 3,000. 
100 likes. Is that not just fabulous? Anybody fancy going tap, tap, tap? No, I don't remember because I'm quite young. John Boy, you're the same as myself. I'm quite young myself. Scotty McClure saying thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all to bits. Take great care of your dear selves. Love being you because it's a great thing to be. Stay fabulous. And I say in the best of circles, we say dinky-doo. Stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Ta-ta.